and welcome to another Tuesday special edition of The Doe Show for Monday, July 2nd, 2018. I'm Ferris Bear. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really full show for you today. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, we did very little this past weekend. Um, there was no drag events, really, in the city. There were some pop-up performances on Sunday night, yeah. but uh, Bambi was actually still feeling too sick, so it didn't make it out. So. If you were there and enjoyed them, feel free to comment below about how fabulous they were because yeah. we didn't actually see it. We didn't see it. Um, but yeah, talking to the girls that performed, they all had a great time and, and everything else, so it mm -hmm. sounded like it went over really well. So congratulations to everybody that was there on Sunday for those pop-up numbers. Yes. This coming weekend, it's a little busier, which is good. Uh, on Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, assuming no All-Stars 4 rumors are true, Trinity the Tuck Taylor will be finally making her appearance. Um, and Evolution! And Evolution! Hooray! So that's going to be fantastic. Uh, we have some fabulous local performers opening, yes. as usual. Uh, like Pheromone Kills. Kills. And uh, the mother-daughter duo of Vanity Fair and Miss Morgan Fair. We so love our fairs. We do love our fairs. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a great show. So if you don't have tickets, uh, be checking the event because uh, people are trying to sell and buy and all those kinds oh, of things. Because I, I, it, I think it's pretty much sold out. So oh. uh, if you want to go, be watching the event because that's where people are kind of dealing with their tickets. Um, Saturday. Saturday. I'm going to be at the Edmonton Inn and Conference Center for the Miss Gay Pageant. A little party never killed nobody. This is going to be a really good pageant. I know I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to it. Um, some of our uh, contestants for mm -hmm. this pageant include Ryder Kuntz, mm -hmm. Gigi, Ivy League, and Pheromone Kills. Exactly. Hosted by this current reign, um, Mr. and Miss Gay 30, mm -hmm. Mr. Silver, and, and Melinda, Melinda Verga. <laughs> um, it's going to be a fantastic time, and that's 7 o'clock at the Edmonton Inn and Conference Center for mm -hmm. the showtime. Doors at 6. So, uh, yeah, you definitely want to be there. It was a fantastic show last time. A little yeah. long. <laughs> but it was a fantastic show last year. So, uh, yeah, enjoy that. I think that'll be a fun time. While Bambi is there, uh, we will actually have someone else across town filming at Evolution for Progeny, a burlesque showcase. Um, put on uh, by Kiki Quinn, Kiki Tabby Quinn. Lexington, Bo Creep, and Holly Von Sin. So uh, they actually have been spending the last 15 weeks uh, training a bunch of new burlesque performers, mm. and this is their showcase to show what they've learned over the last 15 weeks. So, so another newbie burlesque show. Exactly, featuring all new performers. So cool. it's going to be a fantastic show. So if you are not there on Saturday at the Edmonton Inn, be at Evo and watch some new burlesque performers. It should be a really good time. Um, on Sunday at Evolution, in a very special episode of the Sunday Review, uh, we have Review Royale. Like seven or eight? I'm not even Actually, sure. Actually, ten. Oh, is it ten? It's oh, holy 10. shit. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> number ten. Uh, this one is going to be hosted by last time's winner, I Gotta Go. Uh -huh. um, and it's going to be a fantastic time. As usual, we don't have a clue. Yeah. It's going to be performing. I've heard a couple of rumors from a couple of people that they were throwing the hat in the ring this weekend. So, uh, But they're always a really good time, and mm -hmm. it's a great chance for people that um, that haven't performed uh, before or don't oh, get yeah. a chance to perform very often. The Review Royale is really a fantastic spot for them to get in there and show what they've got. I heard a rumor. Yeah? What did you I hear? I heard a rumor that Lady Tenderflake's daughter is going to make her debut. That's true. We Lady. do have a debut. Yeah, Lady Arcana. So that's going to be fun. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> so yes, we'll also have a debut on Sunday, so that's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Um, and debuted at a review real, just like her mama. <laughs> true, true. So uh, we expect at least second place, just saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be a fantastic busy weekend coming up for Drinking Our Heels. Yeah. You know, this was a really short episode. It was. Um, we do have a few more events that are coming up that we should talk about. We are, um, I'm still not 100% sure as our involvement, but we are involved in trying to get some people out to Yellowknife for Yellowknife yes. Pride, which That's is coming right. out August 17th through 19th. Um, I'm trying to convince them just to get them flown out, because <laughs> why not? Um, I mean, you know, it would save us that 12-hour drive 16, both ways. 16 hours to, to Yellowknife. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's an extra five hours to 
Girl. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that yeah. anyway, whatever. It, so if, if, uh, I'll 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 be there. I'll be there in the van if I need to be to get them out there. But uh, anyway, they're looking at that. If they can get them donated, it would actually I think honestly be cheaper for them. So mm -hmm. um, anyway, that would be fantastic. So uh, so yeah, yeah, we're in the middle of putting together a cast for Yellow Night. Exactly. We have some fantastic people that have been inquiring about performing. So uh, Yellow Knife, if this does happen, you're gonna get your boots rocked. Um, we also have Back Into the Woods, yes. Pine Trails Getaway, coming up August 1st through 4th or something. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. The long weekend. Is, the long weekend in August. So um, it's we're gonna, approximately one month away from that. Exactly. And it's going to be a great time. We had so much fun last year. Yeah. Um, uh, a few changes in the cast of characters between last year and this year to freshen it up, and it's going to be a really good time. Yeah. Um, we have all kinds of things coming. Um, we are starting to get asked more and more to film other events. We're filming showcases. We're filming all kinds of things. Yeah. So, um, as usual, if you have something that you want us to film for you, hit us up. We'll see what we can do. Mm -hmm. um, you need to like. You need to share. You need to subscribe. You need to do all those things. Yeah. One thing, and I didn't even discuss this with Bambi, but I'm going to throw it at him and see what he says. Are you ready? What's your pick of the week? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> obviously nothing new. Obviously nothing new, but... But like I think can, we should put something up there. We can obviously recycle videos mm -hmm. because we have 4,000 videos on something our channel. Something like that. <laughs> something like that. So, I mean, there's, there's been a lot of good content coming out lately, so I will pick... Lilith Fair's... Um, what was that show she just did? Faster ki Kitty Cat Kill mm. Kill. Quicker Kitty Cat Die Die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got there. Hey, you got there. there. That's the one. No, that's <laughs> great. Good choice. Um, I am going to throw back a little further. And I'm actually going to say that our my pick of the week is Glory Box by Teen <sighs> Jesus Barbie. What? Featuring <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> it was the very first video uploaded on Dragging Your Heels, oh and I, that's, that's oh the video that I'm sharing this week. Uh, so yeah, anyway. Oh my gosh. So yeah, some retro throwback videos. Throwback! Throwback <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Bye. <laughs> I had that planned all along, I wasn't going to tell you. <laughs>